Hi, welcome to Buff Zone. I'm Kyle Ringo. This is Brian Howell. It's football bye week, so we thought we'd come over here to the Coors Event Center where it's basketball game week. And it's also it's warmer. Yeah, <laughs> six degrees outside, so it's uh, good to be in the Coors Event Center. It's good to be talking a little hoops. Uh, looking forward to the hoop season starting. Brian, I know you are too, and a lot of Buff fans are too, because it means, uh, you know, obviously a more successful season on the horizon here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, there's, there's definitely expectations for a more successful season. Right. We'll see how it plays out. But, uh, you know, the Buffs are getting a lot of votes. I think they're 28th in the AP poll. Um, so they're expected to have a good season. And, uh, you know, <laughs> we keep joking, but the basketball team might actually get the three wins before the football team does. So uh, <laughs> I know it's an, a it's an ouch. That's just kind of reality. But, uh, uh, but, yeah, it is exciting around here uh, with the season uh, two days away. So, uh, you know, you cover this team better than everybody more than everybody you're the only guy uh who covers the team other than the radio guy uh mark johnson who is on the uh, uh you know at every game on the road yeah. with the team wherever they go you've been at almost every single practice or maybe every single practice in the preseason yeah. what are your expectations for this team this year i think they're going to be a very good team i think that they can uh, get in the top 25 i think they're that caliber um, i expect them to get back to the ncaa tournament I would expect them to have a chance. Uh, you know, once you get there, it's all about matchups, so it's hard to say. But I think they've got the ability to get to the Sweet 16. I don't know. Again, matchups are you know who knows who they run into in that tournament, but I think they've got the ability to be a Sweet 16 team. Yeah, you would think that. Uh, you know, they made it to the NCAA tournament last year, and they totally flopped. Obviously, yeah. uh, they w they want to get back and try to improve on that, but with a team that has all of its parts back except for Spencer Dinwiddie and and they didn't have Spencer Dinwiddie for half the season right. last year mm -hmm. so w with all those guys back you would think that the minimum expectation would be taking at least one more step than you went last year and that's right. winning a game and and if they managed to win two that would that would be a pretty extraordinary season obviously a yeah. historic season for the buffs what makes you think this team is capable of of doing that though based on you know last season's well, results i think last year you know when you lose your star player in the middle of the year you don't really have time to um you know really prepare for not having him and they had to kind of go on the fly and i know they played 18 games without him and so they they learned to adjust throughout but now they've had an entire off season of knowing that spencer's not going to be here and josh scott has pointed out that you know last year everybody went into the season preparing for roles with spencer being here this year they were all able to go into the offseason preparing for roles knowing he wasn't here. So they're all prepared for the roles that they're in now. Um, I think they're going to be better suited for it. I've seen better things out of Davey Johnson. I've seen better things out of Josh, uh, better things out of Wes Gordon. Uh, I think Skia Booker's going to have a good year. I think there's a lot of guys that look, just look better as I watch practice, and I think they're going to be a better team. they got to play better defense yes, first they do. and foremost. I, and that's <laughs> something Tad Boyle talks about mm -hmm. often. Uh, who's the defensive stopper on this team? I mean, it is might there be one? you. I don't know. <laughs> that, <laughs> that would <yeah>. be. <laughs> that would make for a bad season. <laughs> yes, that would make for a bad season. Uh, you know, there isn't one right now. I mean, Tad has said it. Uh, you know, he we just talked about it yesterday. Uh, you know, the, he doesn't have one. He's looking for one to step up, and um, you know, somebody's got to get that call on Friday night against Drexel. Um, he talks right now that Xavier Talton is the best guy right now on the perimeter. So we'll see if it's him, but he's six foot two. So when they run into six 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 guards, it's going to be interesting to see how he handles that. But um, I don't know who it is right now, and Tad doesn't either. I'll make a prediction, then based purely on that, mm -hmm. this is not a Sweet Sixteen team if they don't have defensive stoppers. If they don't have right. guys they can count on on the defensive end, night after night, no matter what. Yeah, this isn't a Sweet Sixteen team. You're right. If I, I think if one doesn't emerge, you're right. Right. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see once the lights come on if somebody can actually do that. Um, you know, Tad often says, uh, you know, you don't. Uh, what, what's, what's the phrase he always says? <laughs> you don't rise to the occasion. That you know, basically your preparation is what dictates what you're going to do. Right. That there's no real switch that you turn on. Um, right. So I, you know, apparently these guys are not uh, preparing the way he wants them to that that way. So I don't expect a switch to go on somewhere, but. You know, maybe at some point during the season, it'll actually click to these guys that you know, I, I do need to play good defense. Right. Uh, the women's team is is getting ready to start at season mm -hmm. two. 
Yeah. I know you've spent a little bit of time around Linda Lappy and mm -hmm. and the uh, the team. What are your what are your thoughts on them? I'm very curious with them because I I don't know what to expect. Uh, you know, they lose Ariel Robertson. They had a down year last year, and they lose probably their best player. But I think they've got to some a knee good, injury. Right, yeah. to a knee injury. She's gone for the year. Uh, but they've got some good talent on this team. I think they're capable of doing some good things. I just, you know, I, I think they're very unknown right now because there's a lot of girls on that team that we just haven't seen be great players yet. You know who uh, intrigues me the most on that team is Jamie Swan. Yeah. There were moments last year covering some of their games where I watched her and, sh I mean, you could see it inside of her that yeah. she has the potential to be a dominating player. Right. It, it's a lot like uh, – you know, watching Tad Boyle's team and, and watching Josh Scott, you know, yeah. it, both of these teams have, have uh, you know, post players who could be dominating forces. And it would be interesting to see if how how Jamie's game has evolved in the offseason because I think she has yeah. enormous potential. Yeah, but I, I there I were agree. times that last mm -hmm. year, you know, there were times last season where – uh, Jamie Swan definitely didn't show that night in and night out, and and so uh, I think that's the next step for her. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, she's been showing that since her freshman year. She had a game against Stanford. She came out and had a right. kind of coming out party. Then the next game, you don't even hear from her. So, I, I agree. I mean, I, if she's one that if she can step up and be consistent, that's going to be huge for this team. Jen Reese is going to be huge for this team. Uh, you know, Lexi Kressel at the point will be huge if she can do it um, as they go throughout tougher competition in the Pac-12 and. Um, there's there's a lot of good talent on here. I, I'm just curious to see how they're going to put it all together. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back next week to talk a little bit about uh, the upcoming football trip to Oregon and some some basketball. We'll we'll look at how the basketball season started for both these teams.